A less high-spirited but certainly more down-to-earth means of transport is the railway. We hear quite a lot about electrification in the general modernization scheme, but it occurred to us that a lesser known but just as important aspect of this work is the never-ending job of track laying. Here, from a welding depot at Dinsdale, near the Stockton-Darlington line, site of the first railway over a century ago, the tailor-made rails of the new era are being produced 600 feet long, where once they were 60. A large proportion of the millions of pounds being spent today is in fact devoted to track improvement and the mechanical aids to do the job. Labour-saving giants like this ballast cleaner, which cleans and replaces old ballast with the minimum disturbance to track and schedules. The rate at which the track itself wears out depends, of course, on the conditions under which it has been used. It might last, say, 30 years, but often single lines or sleepers are replaced, although in this case complete 60-foot sections are being removed. Because the new 600-foot lengths of line are too heavy for immediate installation, the old line is replaced by pre-assembled 30-foot sections of track on sleepers of concrete, you'll notice, in place of the familiar wooden ones. This type of work, incidentally, can only be carried out on Sundays, for obvious reasons, yet such is the enthusiasm and efficiency of the engineers and the men on the job that every year more than 2,000 miles of track are completely or partially renewed. Another ingenious device is this massive self-contained track layer which doesn't need cranes on the adjoining lines so that services need not be disrupted. These days, ballast is packed underneath the sleepers by the jaws of ballast tampers instead of shovels. Finally, the 600-foot lengths of rail are laid on the now firmly set base with rubber insulating pads to deaden noise and the temporary 30-foot ones taken out. By using this method, in this case on the main line between Durham and Newcastle, on average a mile of track can be laid in one day. Some idea of the size of this job can be got from the fact that the new rail, designed for fast heavy traffic, weighs 109 pounds per yard, but it will probably last for 50 years or so with little or no maintenance. Notice that even the traditional spanner has been replaced, an impact wrench being four times as quick. Something for looking under bridges instead of up at them. Fortunately, viaducts like these were really solidly built and need only slight renovation. There's so much that we, the public, fail to notice. Little things like the new style heavy shoulder of supporting ballast, but all contributing to the firm and safe 100 mile an hour tracks of today and tomorrow. A permanent way, never before so permanent. <laughs>